Hi Pisces and welcome to your monthly reading for February. I'm using my magic soul tarot today for you. So we're going to lay out a Celtic cross, pull an oracle card as well to get the energies for your February. This is a reading if you are someone rising and or Venus sign is in Pisces. So welcome to everyone and welcome also to all the cross watchers. What are the energies for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. We start with temperance. Uh, challenge is the Queen of Pentacles. I'm just going to put it here so you can see both of the cards straight. Uh, your thought. Wow. Oh, dear. The justice, uh, sorry, judgment card. And that's so beautiful. The Four of Swords. There's so much healing energy. That's incredible. Um, and then we do have the Princess of Cups in the past. Mm, devil in the future. So let's see what this is about. Uh, oh, look at that. How awesome does that look? The table uh, has the same color as the card here. So it looks like the table is basically going into the card. <laughs> Always noticing these things. Um, your energy is the Princess of uh, Pentacles. Wow, death in the outside. Then hopes and fears, Eight of Swords. And oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> We're going to get there. We're going to clarify because I'm not going to leave you out with the Three of Swords. Uh, it might simply be about thoughts, so uh, don't worry too soon. That's the advice. And is there anything else? Yes, of course. The bottom of the deck. Ah, okay. The five of uh, the five of pentacles. Before we go into the reading, I want to pull one more card with the Moonology Oracle. What's the energy for Pisces? The energy for Pisces. <laughs> in February. There we go. Oh, and how interesting. It's the full moon in Pisces, balance, spirituality and practicality. Yeah, it does feel a little bit like there is something that needs to be balanced here um, because we have such a healing energy. But then, then there's a devil and then there's the three of uh, swords coming here. So uh, where do we start? The overall theme is that there is currently in your life in a specific situation, maybe a relationship, maybe at work, might be in a specific area of your life. Maybe you experience that in different areas and say, yeah, it's in, in my relationship and in my business. So the underlying energy we have here is the energy of luck. And I do feel like you are dealing with a lack of, um, oh, this, and this is, oh, okay, oh, so many messages coming through. Okay, one sec. You're dealing with some sort of lack, lack mentality, lack of self-worth, self, um, self-care, lack of, uh, which might be the king, uh, the queen of cups, uh, pentacles here. There is some sort of lack mentality, lack energy. You might be missing something. You might be missing someone. You might be, um, uh, the, there might be an energy of, not having enough or like the the attitude of something is not enough mm, and i do feel like it's about oh the month of february it's about overcoming this and you make the first steps you have the the page of um it's a page it's a princess of uh, of pentacles but that's basically the page so i feel like you're making the first steps in healing something that is connected to lack um, also because we have the Queen of Pentacles here, which is abundance, which is like self-worth, self-care, all of these things. So beside those things, which I'm going to clarify, I do feel like this is about healing your wherever you experience lack, bringing a balance back, bringing a balance back, healing here. And this is the main energy for your month of February bringing back harmony, bringing back balance. Maybe some sort of balance and harmony has come back into your life. Maybe you feel this. You might not be uh, the queen of pentacles right now. You might not be um, super like in your self-worth energy because there's still the energy of lack. But I do feel for a lot of, um, for a lot of Pisces people, this is what you're going to overcome. 
it might come back. There might be a little test. The devil might be a little test, a temptation, like, have you learned it? Are you now in your power? Um, and I do feel you're getting there. With the princess, that's the beginning. That's the start. So you're absolutely getting there. Uh, the other thing that I'm getting here for you is with the Queen of Pentacles, what might be the difficulty is um, either somebody is overbearing, that's the mother energy that is like, okay, I'm helping, I'm doing this, I'm, I'm doing that. When your mother comes to your home and is visiting and can't do helping in, <laughs> in your house, I mean, who has experienced that? Let me know in the comments. Um, but the energy of your mom coming home for, for visiting you and then does everything. And you're like, mom, you don't need to do that. And she's just like cleaning the house, doing everything, redecorating and doing that. It's like a little bit of an overbearing energy. So you or another person, and that might also be the devil here, there might be some sort of behavior that is not very helping, not very beneficial, that is attached to some sort of lack. I need to prove myself. I need to, um, I need to maybe control the situation. I need to, that's a controlling energy as well. But also the queen of pentacles can be in the challenging position a little bit, oh, I need to control this now. I need to have a grip on this. And you see what I'm doing here. You see how the devil is portrayed here. I love this card. Um, it's exactly like this. You can't see the devil really. All you can see is that he has a grip onto these two people. Um, love it. So that's that might be another thing here, which again might result from a lack. No, but but again, it, it does feel like you are healing this, you're transforming this. Something in your life is absolutely changing in the outside of you. You might be dealing with a Capricorn, with a you might be dealing with a Capricorn, you might be dealing with a Scorpio, especially because Scorpio is in the outside. Um, this is a, uh, the energy of Sagittarius. So there are these energies here present. When I talk about these signs that are present, I always talk about the main uh, positions like the sun sign, the moon sign, the ascendant or the Venus sign. So if any of these um, with you or a person you're dealing with is connected to these energies, then that's what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm getting so many information here for you. So that's another thing that I, I, I see here. There might be another person, it might not be you, but this is something that needs to be balanced because temperance, if, if, if you don't temper something here, if you don't, like, you need to stop doing something basically because something is too much. And if it goes into an extreme again, we do have the devil. The devil is an extreme of something, is a possessiveness, right? Uh, it's like, oh my God, I'm so obsessed. I can't stop thinking about something or uh, my behavior is in a particular way. And this is also why I feel there is the energy of balance, spirituality and practicality. So what I am using those cards a lot, like every week I'm using these cards. So what I have come to experience with the full moon in Pisces of this deck is that we can exchange the word spirituality as well with the word emotion, uh, emotion. So balance emotions and the things that are practical and that are real. So maybe you need to find a balance of being over emotional and what's really going on. What's the facts? What's the practical? And that might be something that you need to bring into a balance as well in this month. Um, another, another energy here with the Queen of Cup, uh, Pentacles. The queens are help. This is financial help or a helping hand. Maybe what you're lacking in the month of February is financial help or a helping hand. That could be something as well. Why you're trying to balance something out. How do you feel? I feel like you're going to feel more calm. This, this and this. All of these cards that show me you and where you are at. You feel more stable. Um, there is a new stability within you, but also you feel calm. This is peaceful. This is calm. You feel like you're healing. Maybe you're taking a time out. Maybe this is what you do in order to balance. We got this here. We got it here. So you're balancing out something. You're letting go of the past. You're letting go of certain things from the past. The judgment card talks about, in a way, it talks about a lot about getting, getting clean with your past. Accept, accepting the past for what it was, 
and integrating those experiences so you can move forward without them being like the the baggage that you're carrying with you so you are thinking a lot about um accepting the past forgiving yourself forgiving others coming clean making your heart light again this is such a healing energy for some of you this might also refer to maybe you're thinking about a second chance and there might be some sort of situation <clears throat> where you're like okay come on let's do it second chance what happened in the past that's quite interesting because we have the princess of cups so what brought you here was an emotional conversation an emotional message um, maybe an apology or some sort of emotional new beginning so may this be through a new person, through a person that is in your life. Somebody might have come towards you. Maybe you were the person saying, I'm sorry to another person. So this is all about some sort of new start, new beginning when it comes to emotions. It might be a very light, it could be a very light energy. So something emotionally might have changed in, in that sense that it got a little bit lighter. Um, yeah or somebody coming like i said towards you here to say okay shall we shall we do this like uh, i'm really sorry shall we do this or maybe it was a new person who doesn't need to say sorry or maybe the the saying sorry part might not be that important here but what is is what is sorry what is important with the princess of cups is that there was some sort of new emotional beginning some sort of it feels like a decision that you needed to make if you're going on to this journey do you say yes to this moving into the devil and we're gonna go into clarification but i do have to feel like this is about it does feel like it's a test here have you learned have you forgiven have you learned your lesson um what about the queen in this position that could be connected to to that right um it, it does feel like whatever you're going through whatever you are healing this is more like a test however i do want to pull a card for the devil i do also want to later pull a card for the three of swords but we're going to get there in a sec hmm. the princess of uh, the princess of pentacles here does tell me that there is um like i said already there's <clears throat> it feels like there's a new stability within you you're finding your self-worth um something it feels like is growing here that is making you feel more stable and secure but let's clarify the devil let's clarify the devil now we have leo here as well although i do feel <laughs> yeah that's that's actually great um there is going to be a test and with the um, strength card strength of, is about an inner strength can you stay calm are you getting triggered um so i do feel like that it, and we do have the the change here some there might be some sort of change in the near future um or testing if you have changed a test of you have changed uh, if you have changed so especially in this combination it does tell me there is a test coming where you need to stay calm patient and relaxed um I'm not sure if you have the same saying and I'm, I'm not good with sayings in general i always mix them up and say them in a very weird way in german um so i probably shouldn't even start trying to do this in english but in germany we say um in der ruhe liegt die kraft which basically means the strength lies within staying calm and I, I feel like that's a test coming towards you because you have so much healing energy. You're in it. And with the princess of uh, pentacles, um, the energy that you bring into the mix is that you are now wanting to invest your time, your money, um, your energy, your work into something. You're thinking about, okay, there is this new beginning um, I, I feel more stable and secure where do i invest now how do i invest 
Um, may that be literally in finances, may that be connected to a relationship, may that be connected to you. What am I doing now? What am I investing now in order to overcome more and more the lack mentality, in order to more and more heal and balance my emotions, um, balance uh, whatever is tricky, uh, tricky here connected to the devil. May there be some sort of obsession, maybe some sort of controlling behavior, some sort of negative thoughts, whatever the devil, like whatever the grip is that is causing a negative behavior that is not good for you or anybody else really. Obviously, this might be a person, maybe somebody brings in this behavior and you need to stay calm. Uh, that could be something as well where, you, where it's important to not get triggered. There might be, like I said, uh, this. if this is about a relationship, then very often I see this as a uh, card for the other person, which in that sense, this could be about letting go. Somebody might, um, there's something connected to another person where there is an energy of letting go, um, an energy of change, of transformation. This person might be changing drastically. This is in other decks, the card of um, death and rebirth because death is number 13 uh, which talks about letting go of something absolutely but it also says that there is a new beginning there is the other side of it and you can in this card you can already see the other side you see the you see the meadow on the other side and everything in the front here is dead so the only thing you can do is let go of that which is dead which is not working anymore and to move through the portal in order to have this happy new beginning. So this could refer to a person. Maybe you need to let go of a person. Um, maybe a person is letting go of something, which could be a way of thinking or a way of behaving that is destructive, that is just not working anymore. Um, you might let go of something in the outside and say, nope, this job, this relationship, whatever, uh, I'm letting go of this. Or the job, the relationship, or whatever is in the outside of that situation, maybe in that person, is changing drastically. Changing drastically to a degree where it's going to be completely different. It's, 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 a new, it's going to be new, it's going to be different. Um, so yeah, either something is changing its form or needs to be let go of on the outside. Your hopes and fears are uh, talk about development. So it might be that you hope that through some sort of communication or some sort of news coming in, things are going to develop uh, quite quickly and move into success energy. Uh, maybe you're hoping of moving, maybe you're hope hoping to travel, that might be something as well. But in general, you hope that things are developing successfully. Then we do have the three of uh, swords. The three of swords, swords are the thoughts or communication. So what could happen here? is going through the devil into the three of swords is that there might be some sort of negative behavior where there are words that are hurtful maybe you're hurting another person or another person is hurting you with the words um, it might be that your thoughts are hurting yourself the way you think about something uh, a situation could bring up emotional pain um, there might be the energy of, in general, heartache, emotional pain coming towards you, maybe because something needs to be let go of here. On the other hand, the Three of Swords can talk about brainstorming, finding creative solutions, a situation that is not very good, not, not, uh, um, that looks difficult, where it's like, okay, we need to sit down now, or I need to sit down now in order to find a creative solution to that issue. And that might be a compromise. The Three of Swords might talk about some sort of compromise. What is the Three of Swords about? What is the Three of Swords about? The Lovers. So obviously this can talk about a love relationship or a relationship in general. So there might be some sort of heartache connected to a relationship. For some of you, the Lovers can talk about a choice. Maybe there is a difficult choice that you need to make not necessarily connected to a relationship but could connect to that because the lovers is, is if you think back on the origin of the tarot it is also about a choice what makes you happy now what do you want what's your decision that you make from the heart but there might be a difficult choice that you need to make because maybe you're like 
oh, this is what I want, this is what would make me happy, but that might include letting go of something or someone here as well. The High Priestess says, listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut feeling. How does a situation make you feel? How does uh, someone make you feel? Mm, so maybe you have already an intuitive feeling connected to a situation. Listen to that. <clears throat> All right, Pisces, this is your reading for February. Um, I hope this reading uh, is guiding you through the month and is helpful to you. Uh, if it is, you could help me and the channel to grow if you like, subscribe uh, the video or the channel and, uh, and comment below. Uh, so thank you so much for your support here. And I'm looking forward to do your next reading. Thank you.